Okay, so guys, continue part two, all right? We will continue from where we left off. So this is the um, the basic um, programming structure that we have. So you have struct, you have um, struct student, string name, float q1, float midterm, integer h, okay, and so on. And how do we use it? Use this, okay, right? So first of all, if let's say I would like to access um, the variables in this structure, okay, uh, with only one student, okay. So what I can do is this. You know how normally you declare a variable? It is like this, integer number, for example, right? Okay, this is how you create. Or maybe you would like to have, um, for example, i as a counter, okay? Good programming practice, we always assign it back to zero, okay? And it's the same, right, with uh, structure. All you need to do is struct student which is basically the same here right and this is somewhat uh, parallel to the data type that you use to declare any identifier okay and this is what we call a variable okay uh, data type identifier and now I'm creating structure variable structure variable okay so struct student for example and let's take our one of our students, maybe let's take the the, the 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 let's take Ajay, okay? Ajay is your monitoring class, okay? So, uh, or or Omar, right? In in the other class, but let's take Ajay, okay? So, struct student Ajay. I have one structure variable, and the structure variable name is Ajay, okay? And as usual, okay, I can ask the user to key in the name, like for example, okay? But uh, I'm going to change this because I'm going to key in the name later. So I just put here student1. Or make it short, stud1. Okay, right? Stud1. Okay, that's my structure variable. So I can do the common thing like C out. Okay, right? And uh, your name, like for example. Okay. And then continue on with uh, C in. Okay. And I have name here. Right? And. I'm going to copy this, okay, and I'm going to repeat it four times, three times, okay, and now here, enter your Q1 or quiz1, and here will be changed to Q1, okay, and midterm. And the variable would be mid term and lastly your age. So I'm gonna use age. So you can see name, okay, which is somewhere here, q1 here, midterm here, right, and age here. And if I run this program now, okay, as you can see, we will have errors. Do you see that? The error is with the name Q1, midterm, and H because these are the four so-called terms in this uh, program that has not been declared in function main. You see, there's no declaration. I only declare I. I declare a structure variable from struct student. I did not declare name, Q1, midterm, or H here. None, right? But name is actually a variable identifier that I have declared in structure student, right? So in this case, I would like to gather all this information for this structure under stud1, okay? So having struct student stud1, what we can do here is to enter your name. Instead of name, I will have stud1.name, which means stud1 accessing name name that belongs to stud1 and stud1 can access four different data types here first is name second is q1 the third one is midterm and the fourth is age so as you can guess i can use stud1.q1 i can use stud1.midterm and i can have stud1.h okay and just to let you see the output later on, I can just see out 
right and I'm gonna write here stu stud one okay maybe like that okay and I'm gonna follow that by printing stud one dot name okay followed by a comma and a space okay I'm gonna copy this and no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Okay, nah, there you go. So, all right. So start one, start one dot name. I will have the next one, which is start one dot q one. Then I have start one dot mid term, and I have start one dot h. And maybe here I'll just put a backslash in, and that's it. Okay, let's run the program and see. Sorry, done. Okay, run. So as you can see, enter your name. So I'm going to put RJ, first name. Enter your quiz man. RJ, how much do you want out of 10? Two? <laughs> Midterm, out of 60. I'll give you a bit more, maybe 45. And enter your age. So uh, RJ, you're still young, right? So you're like what, 29? <laughs> 20 all right i'm i'm just laughing at myself sorry okay so as you can see i reprint everything start one rj245 and 20. you guys can see that so this is how you can use structure to access but this we have not used the structure to full potential yet you can have multiple structure like for example i can have struct student start two right and I can have I can I can now get information for two different students. So instead of start one.name, I can have start two.name, start two.q1, start two.midterm, and start two.h. And I can print them all. But it's not logical for me to keep on creating many, many different start one, start two, start three, right? Because there will be 90 of you. Okay. And the best way to use this is basically using array. Because when we use array, we can actually use a, a, a repetition structure, a loop to get all this information at once, okay? So how do we do that, okay? Right, very simple. I'm gonna do this. Start, I'm gonna put here 90, right? But of course, um, for this example, I, I can't put 90 because then I will have to loop it 90 times and key in information for 90 people, okay? Can we make it a bit lesser? Maybe like uh, five, five students, okay? Struct students start, okay? And I can use the repetition structure here for i equals to zero because the array starts from zero, okay? And i lesser than five, five students, and i plus plus. And I will have this loop and here, okay? Right, this loop, can you see? So just to show you how it works. Okay, and instead of start one, okay, I'm having start array i dot name, start array i dot q1, start array i dot midterm, and start array i dot h. Right, and when I need to print it out, I'm going to see out maybe a space before it prints up, okay? I can use the same loop here, right? And instead of stud1, I'm going to use stud i, then stud array i, stud array i, and stud array i dot h. Okay, five. Okay, let's run the program and see what happens. Okay. Uh, actually, I can make this better by doing this. See out. Okay, student, right? I plus one. And end line. Okay, so let's try this and see, right? Run. Okay, I think uh, I will record the output on in the next uh, in the next video because uh, we 